Do you already know about the new remove tool in Photoshop? I've just found out and I'm absolutely blown away. In this video, I will show you a few examples of removing objects from your wildlife images within seconds. And if you stick around until the end, I will show you how to install this new feature on your computer so you can try it out too. My name is Sabine Stolz and I'm a professional wildlife photographer with Pangolin Photo Safaris here in Botswana. And part of my job is to help my clients edit their images and so I need to be up to speed with the latest innovations. Photoshop has many tools to remove unwanted objects from your photos, like the spot and healing brush, the clone stamp as well as the content aware fill tool. However, if the area you want to remove is in front or behind your main subject, it gets tricky and removing it while looking realistic is rather time consuming. The new remove tool, however, can even remove complex areas within seconds. It's currently only available in the beta version of Photoshop and I will show you at the end of the video how I got it. But first, let me demonstrate just how amazing it is. Let's say I want to remove some of the distractions in this image of an African jacana leaning over its nest. There are a few blades of grass here that I want to get rid of, especially the one in front of the eggs. You can find the remove tool in the same menu as the spot and healing brushes. All you need to do is click it and adjust the radius of the brush depending on the size of the area you want to take out. Because I want to edit non-destructively, I first create an empty layer and make sure to check the sample all layers box. If you don't do this and start to paint Photoshop tells you it can't do anything as this layer has nothing in it. So let's enable this again and let me start to paint. I first do the easy piece of grass that is freestanding and shouldn't be a problem. And voila, it's gone. If there are any areas that don't look right after removing, I can simply paint over these and the remove tool cleans it up perfectly. Okay, that was easy and I could have done the same with the content aware fill for example, but check this out. The piece of grass that is right in front of the eggs and feet I usually would have never even attempted to remove because it would have taken forever working with the clone stamp tool. All I need to do now is adjust the size of the brush again and paint over. Insane, right? I'm just absolutely blown away how easy this has become. Of course, there might be small areas to fix, but even that is just a matter of a few clicks. Another feature within the remove tool you can use is this one. Remove after each stroke. If enabled, I can now paint one stroke and immediately after Photoshop does its magic in removing whatever I brushed. If I however need more than one brush stroke because the area is separated, I can uncheck this feature, brush several strokes in different areas and then click the little check mark here to let Photoshop execute the removal. To clean up this image took literally just a few seconds. By the way, jacanas are incredible birds to photograph, especially the chicks, and April is one of the best times to see them here in the Chobe. If you would like to come and see for yourself, I will leave a link to our safaris in the description below. While you are there, why not consider subscribing too, so you don't miss my next video. Thank you very much and I will now demonstrate a more difficult example before I show you how to install Photoshop Beta. I borrowed this image of a lion hunting buffalo from my husband Charles, a great action photograph but unlucky for him and his guest, another boat passed in the background right at a crucial moment. To remove it, I need to work a bit more accurately this time, choosing a smaller brush and just paint over the boat. And although it's not bad, it definitely needs refining with a few more brush strokes to clean it up. I basically start with a small clean sample area and drag it over the area that I want to have replaced. And again, only a few clicks and it's done. Pretty incredible. 
As I promised, I'm now going to show you how to get Photoshop Beta and the Remove tool on your computer. As explained earlier, the feature is only available in the beta version of Photoshop at this time. The beta version is basically a version of Photoshop that is made available for testing before its general release. So if you have an Adobe subscription, you can find it in the Creative Cloud application under Apps and then Beta Apps. Click the Install button next to Photoshop Beta and wait for the installation process to finish. When that's done, you will see the open button and you are ready to use it. And that's it. I hope you are as excited as I am about this new feature. This will save you so much time in front of the computer that is much better spent outside taking more images. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this and remember to share this video with your fellow photography friends. Thanks for watching and until next time.